Hi guys and welcome back to At Home with Elisa. Today I am out in my cutting garden which I honestly since the flooding I've kind of been neglecting a little bit but I'm um, trying to get back onto it and I'm working in the only in-ground garden bed today that doesn't flood. So um, I have planted in it some yarrow, I have some lupin um, and some sweet peas and also ostromerium so I'm looking to add to those today. Um, a while back, I'm not sure if you might have seen the video, I'll link it in the description, but I purchased some Dianthus Jolt, um, which is a beautiful, beautiful carnation. Uh, I just went to the garden centre and I absolutely fell in love with them, so I bought a few of them. And about a week after that, we had another significant rainfall event. Um, and we had so much rain, so they definitely are looking past their prime at this point in time. I didn't get them into the ground in time before all that weather sit in. So that was a bit disappointing that I didn't get them in the ground, but it is what it is. You just have to work around the weather sometimes. I still am constructing the greenhouse. I do have an area that I can keep some plants out of the weather. Um, however, it's not very big. So once that greenhouse is completed, I should be able to store any plants in there and protect them a little bit from any future weather events, but hopefully we don't get any more. Fingers crossed. So today I just thought I'd show you, I'm planting out those dianthus plants. I'm also, um, I had some yarrow that I've divided. Uh, I had it last year and it was really, really pretty. So I'm looking to divide that because it was just kind of outgrowing the pot that I had it in. So I'll put that into the ground and I also raised some lupin seeds from seed and um, they're ready to get into the ground as well. So let's have a look at that garden. So this here is the garden bed that I just was talking about. As I said, it's the only one in-ground garden bed that doesn't flood, which is fantastic that we've at least got one. <laughs> so um, over here I have some sweet peas trained to grow up this arbor just here. Um, these are sweet pea Valerie Harrod, which is a beautiful pink one. Uh, my youngest daughter bought me a beautiful purple daisy, which we put there. This one here is yarrow, and I'll just scoot in. You can see it's just starting to develop some little flowers so those flower spikes will come well above that greenery there and um, they're beautiful cutting flowers so I'm looking forward to those flowering and then this is a lupin plant that um, I raised from seed last year so I hopefully will get some flowers this year really hoping this one here is an I can't pronounce it quite right I think it's called a maria and and look at those beautiful flowers. So I actually nearly lost this one with all the rain that we had. It started to rot out, but I actually pulled it up. I replanted it and it seems to be doing a lot better now. I planted it a little bit higher. So they are a bit susceptible to rot those plants. So I just did a little bit of research and it's a little bit higher and it seems to be doing really well now. This is an Ostromerium plant. I do have two of these and these actually come with us from our last house. Absolutely love them. Another lupin from last year, and as I said, that's the other Ostromerium plant. And these are the plants that I'm hoping to put into the garden today. So there's a beautiful, that is the Dianthus jolt that I was talking about now. It is missing a few because I did pick some flowers from it already during all that rain. But you can see some of the flowers, it doesn't really show up on the camera, but some of the flowers are a lighter pink and some of them are a darker pink. So. It's quite pretty. I was going to deadhead it, but when I looked really closely, a lot of them have actually got, they've got the dead one, but then they've just got a new bud coming underneath. So I don't really want to cut it all back after it's been through everything. Well, to survive all the flooding and that sort of thing, I'm, I'm really happy with it the way it is. So I'll just leave it be. And these are my yarrow transplants that I have. They're a beautiful soft pink with a yellow centre. So there's three of those. I actually have a whole heap more, but I'm just planting three of them at this point. Um, and I'll put those into the garden as well. And these ones here are my little babies. So not the plants at the back, there's something else. But these ones here are the baby lupins from seed sowing from this winter. So they're ready to get into the ground now. So looking to plant those out today as well. All right, so let's get all these perennials into the ground.
Okay, so I've just finished watering everything in and I'm so happy with how it looks. I think mulch just makes such a big difference when it comes to gardening because it just makes the plants pop out. So there we've got the sweet peas still growing up. Um, one of the lupins that I had grown from seed this year. Through to this dianthus jolt, it is, its leaves are down a little bit at the moment, but they'll perk back up again. It's had some water. I ended up moving that ostromerium because um, it's a short stemmed plant and I want the tall ones at the back. I also think that I probably overcrowded things a little bit here, but I like a full garden, so I'm all right with it. Then we have a yarrow transplant, another lupin at the front, the dianthus at the back, and continued all the way up. So with those dianthus, as I said earlier, I probably could have trimmed them off. However, I'm really happy to have some height in this garden. It's what I'm really craving for this area at the moment. So I'm happy that I've left them the way that they are. And at the end of summer, which is still like six months away for us, at the end of summer, I'll actually trim them down hard and then that way they'll reshoot. Thanks so much for joining me in the garden today. I'm so happy that I got those seedlings and those plants into the ground. It looks so pretty. I'm actually thinking that maybe this weekend I might have to go and actually mulch my whole garden. It's just my raised garden beds. I still don't trust the other in-ground ones, but maybe mulch the rest of the garden beds and, and just get them all looking. So the mulch looks so nice. I love it. That's actually the mulch that we got from our next door neighbors when they cut down some um, trees. So I know that it's all like Australian gums and it's not something that I need to be worried about as far as you know invasive weeds or anything like that so um, I'm so happy with the outcome and I think it looks fantastic thank you so much for joining me today and if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing thank you